forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfella Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And, um, yeah, man, let's talk about uh, 50 Cent. Did an interview on Hot 97. Somebody sent to me on Instagram, Matt, I don't remember their name. And I went back and watched the interview, and he said that Floyd Mayweather broke, broke. And that's why he's coming back to fight. And he also explained why, you know, he can stop Floyd from using TMT uh, gear and how he can uh, basically own the rights to TMT, but Floyd couldn't use it or profit off of it no more. But let's talk about it. We're back. Good fellow Sports TV. We on school crap. Do the school crap. Earl Flynn. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Um, but, yeah, he ba you know, 50 said that him and Floyd buried the hatchet. So I missed that one. So I did miss that one. I didn't know they uh, buried the hatchet. Last time I know, they was going back and forth. And Floyd was on Dream Champs. I don't think the it's – on, it's only been clips of it coming out of what he said on Dream Clap Champs about – uh, 50 Cent and you know why he said one day 50 just didn't want to be cool no more and 50 said that uh, 50 said that um, that ain't true um, that you know basically they was trying to do business together and Floyd had him you know uh, you know start the TMT up I'm paraphrasing I'll leave an interview in the description around like the 7.30 8 minute mark he talked about it and then a little bit later in the stream he talked about it again um that, you know, he went to Delaware to get all this stuff done, and, you know, he didn't need Floyd Mayweather's signature to do all of this, and this and that, but, uh, you know, if he really wanted to be a, you know, if he really wanted to be spiteful, that he can, you know, I best, I, I'm not using the proper term, I think he said trademark, or he wanted to copy, he could copyright TMT, and get it where Floyd couldn't use it no more, and he couldn't make, you know, he couldn't make it off, off, off he couldn't make money off of that, and Floyd, he don't understand the business side of that, you know, but he said if it really was any malice there between the two, that he would he would just trademark. I'm now I'm not using the wrong the wrong language, but he said he would trade basically trademark TMT with Floyd can make a dime. So you know he said if he really wanted to be that, but he says he knows Floyd knows why they fell out and Floyd lying. And like I said before, you know he said Floyd had him start the TMT thing up and um, basically he backed out. You know and Fifty not telling the entire truth neither. He wanted to cut Al Heyman out of it. And 50 was like, well, Floyd told me to start it, you know, so we can do business together. But then I think when 50 and them, and the other guy he started, that started the Fight Club, whatever, Isaac, whatever his name is, I think he was one of the dudes that's part of it. They was trying to get Floyd to cut out Al Heyman. And Floyd refused to cut out Al Heyman. So I guess Floyd thought that they was going to do the whole Mayweather TMT promotion thing, and Al Heyman was going to be part of it. 50 wanted to cut Al Heyman out of it. Al, uh, from what I understand, Floyd refused to cut Al Heyman out the deal. And, um, you know, this is where we're at now. You know, but at the end of the day, that is what it is. And he goes on to say that Floyd is broke. And that's why he's fighting again. And he didn't really want to go in, in, in detail. Ebro was trying to say, you know, what is this everyday spending habits too high? He said, I'm not going to go into detail on that. But. You know, basically the way he spend every day, he said it becomes, it goes out faster than it comes in. And Floyd Mayweather, you know, and Floyd Mayweather just he can't he can't keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? He can't keep up. He can't keep up with his spending habits, man. And you know that's the story of, of every athlete. And like I said before, Leonard Ellaby come out here saying, "Well, Floyd will never be broke. Floyd will never be broke. Floyd will never be broke." You know, and that made, you know, his, you know, he'd be lying too. Like when he lied and said that, uh, he lied and said that, uh, he lied and said that, uh, that, um, excuse me, trying to But he lied and said that, uh, Floyd Mayweather, um, uh, Al Heyman didn't make Andy Ruiz, uh, fire. He didn't make Andy Ruiz fire, uh, I'm trying to think of the dude's name. Manny Robins, and he came on Twitter, and for a fact, I talked to somebody very, very high in PBC, and that was the that that was false. He lied about that, and Al Heyman definitely made Manny Robins get Manny Robins get fired, and Manny Robins said it himself. If you don't believe me, you know what I'm saying. So, 
You can't believe nothing that he say. And, you know, he probably don't have the money. Shopping at Gucci every day. Living the, the lavish lifestyle. Like I said before, you know, 50 probably right here. This dude spending so much money on all these women he keep around and trying to live a Hugh Hefner lifestyle. But the only real way he know to make money, the only real way he know how to make money is through fighting. That strip club is, is doing terrible. I'm telling you that right now. The strip club he got doing ain't doing no numbers. It's a high end. It's a high end rat hole. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, just, just the lifestyle that he living. You got a house here, a house there, 50,000 cars a year. All that shit that he got depreciate. The jewelry depreciate. The hoes that's around him that he spent money on, they depreciate. That's why he didn't have the money to sign Shakira Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? That's why he probably didn't sign Devin Haney. Other than his dad, Bill, having you know, beef with Floyd, allegedly. You know, and his dad did right. You know, Floyd Heyman, I, I mean, I, Floyd ain't treating these dudes right over there. Look at Richardson Hitchens, one of the best kept secrets in boxing. Not because he don't have a major promoter, because they don't promote him the right way. You know, they don't match him the right way. You know, out of the TMT fighters, most people only know Javante, you know. But, you know, 50 went on to say just his lifestyle, you know, he got to fight. He said it's been two years, the money gone. So he got to come back and get $100 million. Conor McGregor said the same thing, the money gone. The money, you know, he don't, he trying to keep up this facade. Look here, Floyd, the cameras is off. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but to downsize and and, and, and mature and live a, a live a nice, wealthy man's lifestyle. He trying to keep up with this persona that the 24-7, the all access, the cameras are off. It's off. The persona, you, know, you can just go back to being a regular dude. Nobody cares. Oh, I got the biggest Birkin bag. Oh, he over there fighting tension for nine, ten million dollars. Oh, this, that, and the third. You know? But like I said before, it could be an aspect with Floyd, with 50 just hating it. Floyd, you know, you know, if you can if you can go out there and make two, three hundred million dollars like that, why not? Why not? Why are you physically able? Who really turning down that time? Easy money too. Easily can beat the hell out of uh Khabib. Easily can beat Conor McGregor and, and leave with four, five hundred million dollars. So who will walk away from that 50 cent? They told 50 cent you get a rap battle, you do a rap battle with L Cool J. You do a rap battle with, with Nas, and you're gonna get five hundred million dollars. He not gonna do it. Come on. But it may, it may be the truth. You no, know, Floyd got investments, you know, but the way he living, it probably his, his life the investments can't keep up with his lifestyle. It ain't the only time I heard about somebody at Premier Boxing Champions having uh Money being funny, I'm not saying no name, but a few of them dudes having issues and shutting down businesses and, you know, losing businesses and, you know, shit foreclosing over there because the business not doing good at PBC. This is one of the reasons they sell it, to, to reimburse the investors, and the company is doing absolutely terrible. So Floyd ain't the only one with funny money over there. It's a few people over there who money, like, really, really funny. You know what I'm saying? Because the tickets, they're not selling no tickets. PBC is not turning a profit. If it wasn't for Fox coming in and, 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 and getting PBC, you would have seen you would have seen PBC uh, implode by now, from what I, what I was told to me, from a few people. Fox legitimately, you know, saved them from from drowning. So, so you know, pretty much what's going on, you know, they they having a lot of money problems over there, and Floyd got to fight and. When I'm told the top guys at PBC, they, they begging Floyd to come back and fight. They was begging him to fight Pacquiao. Wouldn't do it. The partnership with Dana White and possibly with the PBC too, that, that's supposed to you know, you know, save things financially. But I can believe it because he's not the only one over there who money funny. You, you spend a, and Floyd is, is, a, is a boss at PBC. He, he, he's equal to Al Heyman. The hierarchy is, is, saying, is Al and Floyd and you know Sam, Sylvia, Tim Smith. In some in some order similar to that, so I'll link the interview in the description. I think one started around the seven thirty eight minute mark, and another one like the fourteen minute mark. You can watch it. The first half of the video, he talked about Floyd in two separate segment segments. So you ain't got to watch the whole thirty forty whatever minute interview it was if that's what you're looking for. Um, but hey, it is what it is, man. If Floyd, you know, money looking funny, you know, I mean, I don't think too many people are surprised by it, man. Um, you know, you make all that money. You've seen greater man, greater man with greater money fall. You know, so you know we'll see what happens with that situation. But 
Shout out to Hot 97 for the interview. Uh, him and Ebro kind of went back and forth. Uh, 50 accused Ebro for the destruction of rap. Ebro uh, blamed 50 for the destruction of New York rap and saying that he broke New York rap up with his beefing. And a lot of people, you know, in, in Ebro... <laughs> Ebro is a, is a is a is a like bro. Ebro need to stop talking about black politics. He says, "Well, I'm proud of Snoop for apologizing to Gil King." Oh, really? <laughs> like I said before, when he said that shit about Eminem, you know, it is what it is. He he probably you know he probably equally responsible for the destruction of New York rap too. The disc jockeys and the, the radio, you know, DJs and stuff of that nature, man. There's no way New York was as great as it was. With all with those great boroughs and those great rappers from Nas, QG Rap, LL Cool J, the Big Daddy Kane, Jay Z, uh, all thirty thousand members of the Wu Tang Clan, Rakim, you know what I'm saying? Um, Fat Joe, all these great rappers, Ja Rule out of New York, and, and New York just drop off the way it did. You know what I'm saying? Guy, I mean, Fifty Cent was responsible for it, but also, you know, you know the disc jockeys were responsible for it. But hey. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All this information in the description. I put the video link, the interview link of 50 and um, Floyd in the description under source link. It'll be the first link you see. Uh, make sure you check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow on box. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. From lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, made much, much more. Website, promo code description. Let me know how you feel in the comment section about the story. We gone.